Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week I want to see how many more animals I can make. I bought a bunch of bases last year and they're selling really well as mosaics. So I want to see how many I can get done so I can get them in a Christmas shop this year. When I want to add a string of beads, I leave them on the strand and press them into a little snake that I've made out of epoxy. And then I just pull it out. And again, I push it in all the way up. And then I pull it out. And I can adjust it as needed. When it's all pressed in and ready to go, I can then take my knife and clean up around it so that I can fit glass in around it or other test room. Another tip I have is, as soon as you're done using the beads, tie them off. If you're like me, if you don't tie that off, you're gonna end up picking that up and spilling those all over. And the other one is, if you're using epoxy sculpt in this regard, we have to roll it out. I just put a piece of shelf paper on my desk over here on the side, and I have plenty of space where I can roll it out and it won't gum up my desk. That's it. animal this little fox and I found this perfect piece of glass for the tail it was in my scrap box so uh, I went to I couldn't decide what I wanted to do for the body and I went and pulled some other glass but it's just too bright and I even found this one this is a piece of Armstrong 
but it's not quite as punchy as this piece. So I kept on searching and I found it was this Oceana glass in orange and green. I don't really want so much of the green in my fox. So I think what I'm gonna do is just cut off this corner and use this corner as much as I can. And then to give it some more pizzazz for the white, I was thinking I would use white iridized glass, which I haven't put in any of the other foxes. So that'll make this one special. That's it. I really like the variation and streakiness of this glass, so I'm going to be putting it on in bigger chunks just to capture some of that. class this week and here's how far I got and some of it I did sort of freehand just cut the long pieces and and eyeballed it but now I'm in these little segments and it has to be a bit more precise so what I've been doing is I've been using tracing paper to get some general shapes and then I cut it out the tracing paper and then I nip the pieces apart and so in general, the sides are symmetrical, but overall they're a little bit off. And that's fine because it's more organic that way. So here's sort of what I've got for now and where I'll cut it. So for instance, this piece that goes on the end is right here. So I just cut this out. And then I'll trace around it on my glass and have that shape cut out with my wheel and running pliers. And then I'll nip it apart into separate pieces so that I've got the separate sections and then I'll glue them down. I have this piece of beautiful iridized glass and the piece would fit on here like this for me to trace and go around. But I'm not going to do it on the iridized side because I want to score it and cut it from the other side. So I'm just going to flip that around and trace it on this side. Uh, there'll be less chipping if I do it that way. Let's see. How will this fit? And I just score it. So now is where I take the glass and cut it. Do like a little bit of space. That's good. Now before I glue these down, I want to space them out just a hair and maybe even round the edges a little bit so that when the grout goes in, there's a nice edge. This part, in fact, got chipped, so I'm gonna cut that off.
got the wings done. They are looking so great. I'm super excited about using these Dicro Frit Balls and I have a little bit of Dicro glass right here that I'll be using in the body. She wanted purples, greens, and blues, so I'm really excited to do the rest of the dragonfly. Then I'll just have the background go. This was the hard part, so I think the background's gonna be much easier than this part. I managed to piece together nine more of these animals, and now I'm going to need to grout them. I've done them all just a little bit differently, but I do need to start by taping off some areas like the tail on this box and the wings on the cardinals. And then I'm, they're all gonna have the same color black grout, so I'm gonna get after it. is that they tip backwards because of the base that they're on. So I had this small box to prop them up. I don't want it to get all dirty now while I'm grouting, so I'm gonna slip it underneath. whole bunch of these animals last year around this time so I'll put a link up above to those. painting the edges. There's just one more thing that needs to be done. They all need felt on the bottom, which I will come back and do that here. I think this is the one with felt. Yeah, that's the one I finished earlier. So I'll just cut out rectangles and circles and put them on the bottom with self-sticking felt. Here they are all together. It took quite a bit of time to paint those edges. How the three Van Gogh animals turned out. I think as a set, those are really nice all together. This little guy wins for most unique. I also really like how the bugle beads are layered on the wing there and on the tail for those two. I think that looks great. And these three are nice because they're all the stained glass ones. Well, with beads too. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.